We must be on our guard. Stay focused. These are mere scratches. These are mere scratches. These are mere scratches. Fall back, I think. It's so dark to live without you. These are mere I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I am indebted to you. Yourself to her. Pull back, I think. These are mere scratches. I don't want to die. Your enemy is strong. I am we must be on our guard. Yours need to be treated. Our enemy is strong. We must be on our guard. Are you pushing yourself too hard. Pull back at you. Like the way she affectionately refers to Magusa. You will want to meet me again, I know. You'll come and seek me. Saying this, Ilicebra left us be. 
Magusa tells me that they have no past whatsoever as partners. Just who is she? A perfect stranger. That is what Magus. Now we have met Elisibra. She claims to have been Magusa's former partner, but he says otherwise. Is Elisibra a liar, a madwoman, or both? Read on to learn the truth. recently. This was her name. Illus Picotus. I'm it. Like the way she affectionately refers to Magusa. You will want to meet me again, I know. You'll come and seek me. Saying this, Ilicebra left us be. She gives me a strange feeling. Magusa tells me that they have no past whatsoever as partners. Just who is she? A perfect stranger. That is what Magusa says. But eerily, the expressions of love and hate that Inesibra directs at Magusa feel deeply sincere. Is it only me who feels unease when I see this mysterious sorceress? Seven days until the end of the world. I suppose it was no surprise we fell for Ilicebra's trap. We now find ourselves in the position of searching for her. You see, she's taken a hostage. It was an intricate ploy. The slime was the bait that lured us in. I never enjoyed dealing with Ilicebra. One look at her face and I feel nauseated, and my arm smarts. Just tracking down her hideout weighed heavily upon me. I'm worried about the hostage. We must hurry.
scratches. the key memory from the slime that Illecebra set upon us. Illecebra had taken a man's wife hostage. The man loved his wife deeply and was determined to rescue her. These powerful urges transformed the man into a monster, giving birth to that slime. She sold a story to the man and turned him into that humanoid slime. She said his wife would be safe if he killed the sorcerers. We faced him and he became our sacrifice. Our right arms inherited the man's profound love for his wife. He wished to have her back. Illecebra was beginning to bother me. Her face concerned me. The striking resemblance. I never thought that I would have to see that face again. I wanted to forget.
but she will not let me. Ilicebra could be her twin. Ilicebra perfectly resembles Sotiara, who should be long dead. Seven days until the end of the world. Can you believe that Ilicebra and Sotiara were connected? The encounter with Ilicebra was in some way a reunion with Sotiara. Our dear author must have been horrified. recently. The man that Ilicebra used as her pawn must have loved his wife deeply. From within our right arms, the man's soul let out a tragic cry. For she too has turned into a terrible beast. Your husband was killed by a duo of very wicked sorcerers. Hearing that drove her mad on the spot, and she became a monster. These are the two who are responsible for your loss. Go ahead, avenge him. The soul of the husband who was transformed into a monster dwelled in our right arms. His soul spoke to me through my arm. Save my dear wife. I was torn between choices. A slaughter between lovers. It was a deplorable setup. Don't forget our goal, our mission as sorcerers. The voice of reason, Magusa. The only way forward is to kill. You must remain focused, even if your heart is split open.
Those wounds of yours need to be treated. 